This is an overview of how a decorative concrete poker table was done. First thing is, is to cut the size of the circle that you want as your base form for the table. The insert, we used a plate, a plastic plate. It had a ridge on the bottom, so that had to be sanded off. We used a table sander to eliminate the groove. To give it a smooth finish, we used 200 grit sandpaper to fully smooth out and eliminate any ridge lines. An inexpensive $5 plate was used to create the form. PVC piping, the same size as the poker chips, actually slightly larger, was used for the forms for the poker chips. Once they were cut to size, we squared them off and then sliced them in two with a table saw. Poker chips were used, cut in half, for the end caps. A quick setting epoxy was a great way to set these end caps in place. We tacked them on with small pieces of masking tape. Once they've hardened, the masking tape has been removed. Here are the forms for the poker chips. This is a general layout of how it's going to look. Here are some, some supplies we assembled. Semi-precious stone, tiger's eye rock, and the fossilized shell for the centerpiece was used. Cut in half and polished. And glass tiles which are going to be used around the poker chip holders. Gem stores is where you can find most of these materials. Quarter inch foam was used as a form and for the insets for the table. Then a general layout was done to get an idea of the design. Silicone caulk is a great way to glue down the elements and they will ultimately be able to be released once the form has been removed. Use the silicone sparingly but enough that it will hold your pieces in place when the concrete is actually being poured down later on. It's not necessary to do the whole piece as long as you have a watertight seal along the edges. Set it in place. Continue the process with all the decorative highlight stones around the centerpiece. Once it's complete, it looks something like this. Stay tuned for the pour.